hello 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 diversity kitchen how are you all doing for me i'm doing good i'm doing fantastic so today we are going to cook from scratch fresh from our garden this wasn't frozen by somebody and i go by no this is me i grow these things in my garden i know what i put in it and it's all organic oh my god so now you see me picking up my cassava leaves oh my god i'm so happy <laughs> so this is how much i get look and uh, this is how we do pick it or clean it or you know separate it and this is the, you know <laughs> when we were back home we were little little kid or little girl you know, whenever they tell you to come and do this, oh my God, it was like, ah, uh, it was like a jail. <laughs> you start crying. And whenever mama say, we are going to cook cassava leaves today, oh my God, everybody was running from the house. Because these things is a lot of work. But finally, we grow up and we start enjoying it. And it it, it becomes our favorite. So this is me. And this is how we do it. And you cannot go in a Congolese party and you miss these things. Man, this you can find it in a whole Congolese party. And is among our favorites, our daily vegetable. You cannot go one week without eating cassava leaves. <laughs> oh, and it's so, it's so, it have a lot of benefit. Healthy benefit, yes. So I finished to pick and this will be my next year seed. So I'm gonna, uh, you know, grow with them again. So this is it. So this is how many, it's a lot. So now we are going to start, uh, I'm going to put uh, the pots with water. And when the water get hot, not really hot, you know, it before boil. So we are going. I'm going to put it inside. Look at that one. She is start getting my <laughs> my assistant, and I'm going to turn it. So long time ago, they were telling us. Like if you don't cook the, if you don't put your cassava leaves in the hot water, it's going to be poison. It is going to be poison. Ah! But when we grow up, we see other tribe, they don't even put it in hot water. They just cook it like that. <laughs> oh, kids' okay, stories are very funny. So we are going to take it out. So now we put it in a hot water to remove they uh you know it always whenever you don't put it in hot water it will always have like the smell as we do it we call it bubichi you know you have that smell of bubichi and you have another taste so us growing up or in the town or in the uh, in the town in the town the city state province where i grow up we do put it in hot water but other province they don't put it in hot water but the majority Congo majority we do put it in hot water to remove that uh, the buchung or uh, the bubichi. <laughs> if I can say that the bubichi, yeah. If I can say that, is it necessary to put it in hot water? Yes and no, because other people don't do it. So it's hard to, you know, the way we do it. So this is the last one. We are going. I'm going to put it. And after that, we are going to put it in cold water. Why do we put it in cold water to stop the cooking process? Because if you leave it like that, it's going to be bitter. That's why we don't leave it in the hot water for a long time. Because if you leave it for a long time, in the hot water, it's going to be, bit it's going to be bitter. So that's why we are going to put it in cold water to stop the cooking process. Anyway, 
whenever you are going to watch this video please don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe don't forget to ask questions don't forget to you know like comment share and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> yeah so thank you thank you for everybody who already subscribed who always like and share comment support i say thank you so now i'm gonna get my my uh what's we we call it kituangio the smasher the grounder you can say the grounder you can say the smasher but for us we call it kituangi kituangio so that one is the kituangio and that one is the muinshi <laughs> Muinshi and Kituangio. So I uh, uh, I went outside. Uh, so um I went outside because you know our back home house and this house are totally different. Back home you can peel it inside the house, nothing will happen. But this one, man, you can peel it inside the house, and one thing fell down and and the whole house collapsed. <laughs> so that's why I'm outside. And I'm gonna do it outside, so just uh, wash the, my kituangio first, and I tell my assistant to hold that things for me. And she was like, "Mama, it's too heavy. It's too heavy." I was like, "Hold it for me, please." <laughs> so we, I'm going to. So now I remove all the water. So I, uh, what they say. I remove all the water. I don't know how to, to, to say it in English. By the way, English is my second language. <laughs> I speak French and Swahili and all those things. So now I'll squeeze it. Yeah, I'm squeezing it and take all the water out so that it can be easy for me to, to smash it or to ground it. Back home, if they call you, come in, come, come and do this. Oh my God, you are going to hear, Mama. <laughs> hey, people, we were crying. We were like, Ah, Mama. Stop crying, like that. I'm not crying, baby. Stop crying. I'm not crying. Stop I'm just crying. explaining, people. Yeah. Stop so crying. when they call you and to do this, you were like, Oh, Mama, I don't want to do it because it was. I, this was a hard job, and this I'm doing too. I'm doing this is too small, but what we were doing back home, my goodness, it was a lot, a lot. So now I'll start peeling it, uh, smashing it. Look at my baby when I try to do it. I was like, Mama, go back, go try, back. Go try. Go try. Mama, go try. Mm hmm. Okay. So I'm going to do it until, so this is me, I get, <laughs> this is a job, I was tired to do that, so I was like, let me get a chair and sit down and do this. So now I'm going to put on uh, the pepper and celery. At this stage, if you do uh, put, uh, you can put uh, what? Onion and garlic and eggplant, but for me, I'm going to do it in the blender. So I finish, look how it looks. So I get a spoon to take everything out. Mama, Mama. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put a little bit of water. Like yes, Mama. I'm gonna put a little bit of water to no, take everything no, out. No, baby, water. Yes. No, no wet. Mm -hmm. A little bit of water. So no, I'm gonna uh, mix it together. And I'm going to put it back no, on the stove. No. And I'm going to let it boil. Mama, so now I'm going to do the garlic, Mama. green uh, green onion, and uh, pepper. You say pepper, red onion. And I'm going to blend all the things together in the blender. 
but if you can do if you, this is my i prefer to do it like this but you can do the other way so i'm gonna put everything in the blender and i'm gonna add a little bit of water to help it you know blend So now I'm gonna put it back in the pot and put a little bit of water in my blender to put a little bit of water in my blender and to clean it and hot water and hot that water in the in the pot. So now we are going to mix everything up and we are going to let it boil. Okay, so today I'm going to cook with, uh, I'm going to mix it with uh, the, the fresh fish, as we call it, Thompson. You see, that's the fish. I'm going to put it inside and I'm going to let it boil together. And this is, I didn't cook everything, so this is what I keep. So this is for the next time. So my fish is ready. I'm going to take, I'm going to take it off. So I'm going to take it off so that I can take all the, the bones out and I'll put it back in the pot. So that's my, uh, that's the the grounded nuts, the raw nuts, and then I ground it. You can go, um, if you watch my videos, you are going to see how I did. Uh, I did it, yes, I did it in one video before. So this is, I put it and I'm gonna mix it, just mix it very good until you don't see no, uh, no peanut, no peanut powder no more. All the lumps, you just, you know, eliminate them and do it good. Just mix it good. And I'm cover it. And this is it, look. It's smelling good. So now we are going to add a little bit of water. So now we are going to uh, now we are going to put some salt. And we are going to put the uh, that's our chicken bouillon. I like what the the chicken bouillon give it a flavor, a good flavor. That's a vegetable seasoning. And we are going to mix everything together. Ah! Look how it looks. The smell is so good. <laughs> So now we are going to cover it again and let it boil and this is what we are going to eat. So we are eating the cassava leaves and uh, this is beef, beef stew. So that's the cow meat, the cow heart and the meat. <laughs> so this is our cassava, that's my husband, he just came from work. So we are going to put the fish back. 
so you can do it with til uh, tilapia you can do it with any fish the catfish but the catfish yeah you can do it with the catfish too so i'm gonna let it boil again So now I'm gonna take it, as, I'm gonna put it aside and I'm going to do the oil. So the palm oil that I'm using, so the first time that I cook with my husband complain and say is, he um, feel like he's itching on his straws, on his straw. So that's why I was like, okay, so this is the another way that I can do it. So I'm bleaching it. Yeah, if I can say that, I'm bleaching it. So it means like I'm taking all the the the, uh, the 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 smell not not only the smell but the the really that that make the the throat to itch yeah and look this is how we change color so in Swahili we say kuipenduza kuipendula kuipenduza <laughs> so I'm gonna put it aside to cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to put it back in the in the pot. So this is cool down a little bit, and then I'm gonna put it. So if you do this, you're not going to feel like he's uh, he's a palm oil. He's gonna have a taste of palm oil, but not really like to, you know, to, to make your throat itch. So I'm gonna mix it. Look, oh my God. It smells so good. So I'm gonna let it boil and I'm gonna turn the camera and you are going to see, see, look. Look, the fish. Really, the fish give, you know, it give it a good smell and a good taste too. So we are going to let it boil. And this is the last one. We are going to put uh, the pondu cube. This is the pondu cube. My sister sent it uh, for me back home. She sent it to me. <laughs> she sent it to me back home. So it, it really, I really enjoy it. So I'm going to put that. It gives a good taste too. And good smell. That's why I like to put it at the last, the last moment. Or the last time. Oh yeah, the last moment. You see all the water is down so now we are going to i'm gonna put it aside i'm gonna let it boil a little bit and then i'm gonna put it aside and we are going to jump on the fufu by the way my next video is gonna be how we cook fufu how con how we cook congolese fufu <laughs> that's my next video that's why i ask you to subscribe so that you cannot miss anything So if you want to know how Congoli, how we cook fufu, just stay tuned. So that's my fufu right there. And that's how I do it. So I don't put oil in my fufu. It just like this oil help so that the fufu cannot stick. Look. So this is the fufu. <laughs> I love fufu. Fufu is my favorite. So it's time to eat now. Look, the vegetable, the cassava leaves is on point. It's smelling so good. 
by the way if you are around baton rouge and you watch this video please my next cookout is gonna be just the way you see it that's the way i'm gonna do it so this is it so you can eat it with fufu and then you can eat it with rice just the what told you you can eat it with rice so that's rice the same thing you can eat it with rice so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe on my channel diversity kitchen lagrasse